Hi guys, this is Preston with Cutting Edge Automotive Solutions. Today we're going to go over Texa IDC5 truck software, kind of uh, what that software entails, what type of coverages we have, what vehicles we work on, the coverage capabilities we have on those vehicles, as well as talk a little bit about software navigation, technical support, and our update system. So this is Texa Truck. You'll see all your environments here. We're going to focus on truck today. There'll be more videos to follow with the other environments. Inside of truck software, you have heavy duty and bus. So this is all class eight 18 wheelers, city buses, articulating buses, all of those kind of vehicles. You have medium duty. This is inner city food delivery vans, um, Azuzu NPRs, he knows. Light trucks, think 2,500, 3,500 trucks. Um, mostly diesel, but we do have some gas coverage as well on the truck side. You have powertrain and trailer. So trailer is trailer ABS. Um, carrier units, trans cold, um, and powertrain would be engine transmissions and brakes. So this is a standalone diagnostic. Say if you had a truck that had, had to swap that engine, you could use this to go standalone engine side or standalone transmission, however you want to do that. Today we'll be doing a demonstration on heavy duty software. and uh, It's pretty popular down here for most of the US. So we'll go here. This is our make coverage. So we have Almost all your major uh, makes in North America. We have Freightliner, International, Aveco, Volvo, Penta. We can go through all of these. They're all here. Uh, the what we're going to be using today is Freightliner. So we'll go ahead and go to Freightliner. Now, if we actually had a vehicle instead of a demo diagnosis, you could do VIN scan. It would auto ID everything for you. You wouldn't have to make all these selections. But we're going to go Freightliner, and then you pick your model. So this is engine. So Freightliner with a Cummins, and it brings you here. So we have a couple different ways you can interact with the screen from this page before you're doing the diagnostic on the vehicle. You have system scan. This is a global scan, TGS 3s total global scan. Um, this allows you to ping every module on the truck. So body control, ABS, air conditioner, engine transmission, brakes, and it'll give you a report. You can go further diagnosis from there. Uh, the other option is to go diagnosis by system. So you could do just engine, just ABS, just AC. It's a little quicker if you already know what you're looking for. You're going back into the truck for after your initial diagnosis and you just want a specific uh, ECU. To your left, we have tech data sheets. We have wiring diagrams. I'll talk a little bit about those uh, here. So you have wiring schematics built into the IDC5 software. Uh, you don't need an internet connection. They're already built into the computer. So you have, let's say this is diesel injection. You're going to pick your engine. I'll do an ISX 15. Here you go. This is what our wiring schematics look like. They're really nice. They're well drawn, well colored. You can go and hover over the different um, different sensors here. It'll tell you what you're looking at. This one's a glow plug. This one's exhaust gas temp sensor. These are warning lights. You have ECU here. You can click the ECU. You can get your pinouts. So that's important. All that's built into the software. Now if we go back to diagnosis, We'll go ahead and do a global scan, just so I can show you what it looks like. This is going to be the most common scan you're going to use on a vehicle. It pings everything at one time. So we're going to use demo diagnosis. Now this is a recorded uh, diagnostic session off of a legitimate ECU, so it's, it's not a fake session. And we're going to look at actual values as if we were connected to a truck. While this loads up, there we go. So these are realistic scanning times um, as if you were connected to a vehicle. So it's going to take a little while to run through its scan, but it's trying to reach every module in the truck. So this is what the TGS-3 total scan will give you. This is a report of all systems we communicated with. So it shows you ABS, AC, automatic transmission, body controller, chassis management, diesel injection, so on and so forth. If it's yellow, that means it was communicated with with fault codes. So there's fault codes present. If it's green, communication, no fault codes, it passes, everything's good. So you can see a couple fault codes here, transmission, ABS, and engine. We're gonna go ahead and just hop into the engine here. So you can just double click it.
tell you turn key on, press confirm. And this is what a diagnostic uh, of a specific ECU looks like. So this is on the engine side. Um, the way Texa works, they made it very simple. No matter what system you're on, engine, transmission, brakes, or what environment you're on, truck, off highway, bike, car, marine, they all look very similar to each other. It's very good for a shop that might work on a heavy duty Freightliner one day, you know, Toyota Corolla the next day. It keeps it easy, easy to go back and forth. You always load your faults page, so you have your faults here. So if it's got a red triangle, that's an active fault. It'll also say active underneath it. If it has a yellow, that's a memory fault. If it has a green, that's a cleared fault. On the right-hand side of the faults, you'll see web, the wiring schematic symbol, and freeze frame symbol. So if they're present, you can go here. This one is accelerator pedal position. You can go here, click wiring diagrams, and it'll automatically link you to the correct wiring diagram for your vehicle and highlight the sensor you're looking at. So that's a very cool time saver that they've incorporated into the software. You can also do the freeze frames, so you can see when the error occurred. So all of this is uh, possible from just the faults page. Now if we go all the way to the left side, you see live data up here. Live data is all pressures, sensors, voltages, temperatures, everything you're monitoring on the vehicle. So on this specific truck, there's 176. That's too many to scroll through if you want to sit here and scroll through all day. So there's two ways to filter. My personal favorite is dashboards. Down here, it's lit up. It looks like a little gauge cluster. If you click on that, you'll get this page. So these are very cool interactive um, dashboard features that Texa made, and they are separated by, by system. So this is fuel system, and then you'll have EGR turbo side, DOC DPF, and SCR system. So it's the most common pressures, temperatures, values that you're gonna look at while you're diagnosing one of these systems. So it's a very quick, easy way to find it. If you wanna go a little more in depth, all mechanics like to do a little bit different diagnosis depending on what they wanna filter. You have a funnel here. If you click the funnel, the funnel will break it down into several different functions. You have all after treatment, you have all electrical, you have lamps, you have all mass flows, you have percentages, you have pressures. Or if you want to get even more specific, if you click the funnel again, you can make your own. So if you were troubleshooting any specific thing where you want to see like accelerator pedal positions, and you also wanted to see, you know, coolant level at the same time, there you go. Now you're looking at that. Um, you can save this list so it's the same for every every time you go back to this vehicle. So if you're working on this a lot, or if it's something you're going to be scanning on and off throughout the day, you can just make your preset and leave it saved so you don't have to re remake it every time. From this page, you can also do recordings. So these are diagno diagnosis recordings. If you click that, you can record up to 30 minutes, which allows you to go on a test drive. You don't have to watch your scan tool and watch the road at the same time. You don't have to have somebody in the passenger seat. You can just drive down the road. When you're done, you get back and you can play back all your data. So that's a very cool feature. Uh, also, they have the min maxes here. So blue is maximum, minimum is gray. So that's just a cool thing. If you're troubleshooting, you know, Caterpillar uh, Huey pump, you can look at pressure on startup. What was the greatest it saw? What was the least? And then you can reset that down here with the min max reset. We'll go over to ECU information. So ECU information is just data so it can be very important if you're trying to order parts to make sure you have the correct engine manufacturer date engine serial numbers last time it was programmed last time it had a calibration this one's a test one so it's funny but the rest of them will give you manufacturer numbers part numbers date times vin numbers so on and so forth so if you go over here you have your activations and settings tabs these are your two major functionality tabs that you're going to be using in the software Activations, uh, you can think of as a light switch, on off test. So in the diesel world, that's gonna be um, used a lot. You're gonna do cylinder cutoff tests, you're gonna do def dosing tests. Um, you might turn a fan on and off, turn a blinker on, um, honk the horn, that kind of test that's here. So this is a test, so there's no permanent change occurring. Settings is where you're gonna do permanent changes. So 
your big one is up top it's going to be regions so if you're doing a, if you're going to do a dpf regen a burn that's all here if you're going to do vgt calibrations injector coating that's here any type of saint change you want to make to ptos to um, top engine speeds rpm limits vehicle speeds uh, speeds on gas pedal versus uh, cruise control any of that's here so it's very well laid out, very well labeled, NOx resets. Anything you want to do, you can see here. It'll just tell you what it's doing. And if you click on one and click the help button, it'll tell you any preconditions you may need. So if you need um, a certain coolant level or you know the vehicle must be idling and stationary, can't have, can't have any movement, that kind of thing, it'll tell you. It'll also tell you what will stop it. So if a fault occurs, it'll bring it out of region. If, it, if the gas pedal or accelerator pedal on a diesel or the clutch or the brake is pressed, it'll take you out of region. If the transmission's put in gear, it'll take you out. So it just gives you a complete breakdown on what that setting's gonna do for you and if it's the one you should be doing or if it's something else you need to find. So we'll just go into this so I can show you what they look like. So this is fairly typical for all of your settings and activations. Texa has a very um, well-designed dashboard feature for each one. So if you do a region, it's gonna show you all of your pressures and sensors and, and readings that you're going to typically be using while doing the region. So you wanna watch DPF inlet temperature, DPF outlet temperature, uh, DPF differential, that's a big one. So you can watch while you're doing the region you don't have to go to a different tab or anything it just brings it up right there uh, you can change it around a little bit if you want that's a dashboard this is a chart and then you can also change it into a table by clicking one two and three down here in my opinion the dashboard looks the best so that is a breakdown of the of the software it's typical for the engine side transmission side it all looks the same so navigation wise you're good um, everything will look the same no matter what system you're in now we also do offer tech support you can do the training um, we encourage highly to do the training if you get the tool through us you can call us our tech support line at 855-839-2626 They'll answer the phone. They're all right here based in Robertsdale, Alabama. Very good to deal with. They can log in to you uh, through TeamViewer. They can do the training. They can help troubleshoot. They can help just teach you how to use the software. If you have any little questions like that, they can help you. And they can do the same, just like I'm pressing the buttons on the screen right now, they can do for you while walking you through it. So Tex actually comes with a year of updates. Uh, so you get one year of updates. With those updates, you get all of the software that Texa develops and releases throughout the year, as well as all of our tech support through Cutting Edge Automotive Solutions. So any time you need to make a phone call, any diagnostic assistance, anything like that is included. And then when that year is up, it doesn't prevent you from using the tool anymore. Um, you can just keep using the tool as you were. Everything will continue working. Uh, you just won't have any access to the new software and you won't have any access to technical support you can always renew that um, but a major thing right now is that they're offering with any of the Axoni packages they're offering evergreen warranty with the renewals so if, as long as you don't lapse for 30 days you can keep your evergreen warranty so it's, it's worth it to get the updates all right guys that's pretty much it as far as texa truck software goes um, if you have any questions or need any more information you can reach out to us at 855-839-2626 or on our website at ceasusa.com thank you for watching